I'm here with Joan Walton. Joan, your husband, DeWitt T. Walton, was really one of the founding fathers when it comes to this museum. When I say that, what kind of reaction goes through your mind and heart? Well, I remember when uh, Richard Kyle first came to my husband with this dream and idea about the African American Museum, and he was very excited about that. And so in 1981, he was one of the earlier supporters of the museum. And when you think about that, and here we are in 2018, and look what we're surrounded by, what kind of what kind of comes to your mind? Well, it's a dream fulfilled, and it's filled with hist the history of Macon. Macon has a rich history with lots of outstanding people that have really made a huge difference in the growth of Macon. And why do you believe that your husband jumped on board and kind of began this whole thing, this journey? Richard Kyle was a of uh, a, a friend of his, a friend of ours, of the family. And my husband just believed in the history of our people and how important it was to preserve it and to share it. Your husband passed away a little more than 10 years ago. In 07. What do you think he would say if he were able to walk around? He would say, Richard's dream has been fulfilled. Yes, I think he'd be very proud. All dreams need to be sustained. All dreams grow. All dreams get bigger. Um, why would you encourage people to either outright donate to the Tubman or maybe I believe perhaps more importantly get some type of membership uh, which the financial end supports but then they get to come in and see this magnificent place firsthand. Absolutely, and it's very important to sustain these, these types of buildings and history and efforts that people have made. And it cannot be sustained if you don't give to it or help with the fundraiser, or support it in some financial way. What do you think this museum means when we talk about education in this area? Well, first of all, it highlights a lot of people that were very instrumental in the education in Bibb County. And there were lots of people well-educated that made a real difference in the lives of our children. And this educates the children further, and adults too. A lot of adults don't know the history, the, a lot of young people that have come to Macon that have not been here, and we have a lot of newcomers. So this gives them an opportunity to come and see the history, the black history here in Macon, Georgia.